Time to hook up some servo motors to the Electrique's breakout boards. This is the motor, motor bit board. Now I have a continuous rotation servo here, which means it, it will continually go clockwise or clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on what number you put in. Um, 90 for the degree kind of space is actually stop for these. And then zero is uh, go full speed. Uh, one way and 180 is go the other direction and that's what the continuous rotation does so I have it plugged in to pin 16 because I wanted to play with the 3 volt and 5 volt so I wanted to plug it into the blue pins so I could have done you know 13, 14, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, and I could have done any of those up there so here we go we're going to turn it on now my code just says start off stopped, then go one direction for two seconds, stop for two seconds, go the other direction, stop. And it just keeps repeating that. Now again, it's got this one has a brown, red, and orange wire. It comes like that. Red is power, but that doesn't help you because red's always in the middle. Um, brown or black tend to be the ground wires and therefore orange or yellow tend to be the signal wires so let's get back into 16 and now I'm going to flip it to 5 volts and you'll notice the difference so there is why you want a board that does 5 volts but for some reason it's got a little bit of uh, creep in it this one I'd have to test a different servo to see if it also has some creep in it. It's like it's getting some voltage through. Um, but that's the purpose for the 5 volts. It's the more power, more speed. So let's go to the um, just the regular electric breakout board. Not the motor bit board. Plug you in here. Plug you in 16. Yep, ground to ground. Let's plug some power in. Again, this one doesn't have an on-off switch, so it's getting ready to go. I think that, that little shake there is because the battery is low, so it doesn't want to do something right. See how it's supposed to go one way than the other. Um, so let's flip it up to 5 volts, see what happens. Doesn't go a lot faster on this one because I think my battery is, is getting low. Um, so I should put a new battery in there or a new two batteries in there and test it out, right? Okay. So here we are with another set of two batteries. They're not perfectly fresh because they weren't, they were already open. Um, and again, it's on five volts, it's going a little faster than the three volt. So here's a three volt. See, we're not getting that creep from there. Uh, but then the five volts we do get. Again, it's going faster. So make sure you got fresh batteries. And uh, let me get this out of the way. Plug that. Um, AAA batteries for that power pack. And let me just go to the quickly to the code. Um, the forever loop that server right pin. See that it's red. It's down here in pins. Servo right pin. And so is the so is the read pins that I have. I don't have read pins here because. I don't have any ifs. Okay. So there is where the servo stuff. So 5 volts works better than 3 volts. Still working with the servo thing. I just thought I'd show you the other servos, the angle servos. Um, they go from 0 to 180, whatever you set it at, tell it to go to. And I'm still using the same program where it just has a 0, 90, and a 180 in it. And it does it goes there for two seconds, then goes to the next thing. So that's all this one is doing. Is going zero ninety one eighty ninety 
0, 90, 180, 90 for two seconds. Um, this is on 5 volts. That one does definitely need 5 volts, I think. Let's flip it down. See, 3 volts just doesn't, eh, it kind of works. Not as quick, not as fast. First time I plugged it in, it didn't really, it didn't really turn. Um, but here it is on three. But again, this is without a load on it, so there's nothing there um, for it to turn. You know, like an arm or lever arm with some weight on it, and that's definitely when you know, the the five volts is going to come in handy. So that's a basic angle servo. Usually the continuous rotation servos have R's on the end of the name, like this, the, 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 the number. So there's some servo things.